Right now, it is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. More than 10,000 children in the United States younger than 15 will be diagnosed with cancer this year. This morning, Tanisha Cordell shows us how one local five-year-old girl and her mother are defeating the odds thanks to genetic research being done right here in Cleveland. It was a Sunday afternoon in Brexville. It was pretty out of nowhere for us. Sonia Crouch says everything was normal. Her five-year-old daughter, Audrey, just being a regular kid. We hadn't noticed any different activity. She didn't have any headaches or anything. Suddenly, out of nowhere, her daughter had a seizure. We called uh, an ambulance. They came and got her. They did the CD CT scan and found her um, tumor. An MRI scan revealing Audrey had a rare brain cancer called astroblastoma. It was a real eye opener that this could happen to anybody at any time. It is every parent's nightmare and I don't think um, anyone could be prepared to take such a news. Her treatment at the Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital starting almost immediately. The tumor successfully removed and Audrey recovered with no issues. But doctors quickly realized Audrey's tumor was different. It is a high grade, it is a malignant tumor. The high grade tumor in adults is almost um, life threatening. Whereas in children, um, there are some tumors that behave very aggressive and, and, and can impact their life. Uh, while as others with proper treatment, pediatric neuropsychologist Nia Patel says kids like Audrey can live happily. In Audrey's case, they didn't know until some of the molecular and genetic testing came in whether or not she was going to need any future treatment. Through genetic mapping, which developed within the last five years, Audrey's doctors decided on a high dose chemotherapy, Audrey's best chance at keeping the cancer from coming back. They're always like seven steps ahead of us. But Sonia quickly learned Audrey's fertility was at risk, the solution requiring surgery. She actually was our first patient where we uh, did ovarian preservation, where we took a small piece of our ovarian tissue and, and freezed it up for future. Life is full of surprises. Audrey has been a real trooper. But Sonia says Audrey is pushing through with just six months of treatment left. In Audrey's case, the team that we have here and her positivity has made it you know, so much easier to get through. Tanisha Cordell, News 5.